DJ Bob Key's leftover turkey hash. Real time. <laughs> Woo! Is it starting now, the real time? Is it starting when I open up the... Did it, did it start? Have you, we started. Mate. We've started? Yeah. What up, guys? It is DJ Barbecue, the real-time recipe, uh, leftover turkey hash. So you've had the holidays. You've had the big roast turkey, and you've got all these lovely kind of vegetables. But you're bored of it, man. So what do you do? You watch this video, and you follow along with me. Now, with hash, you normally would use potatoes, but we're going to add more fiber, more protein, make it a lot more healthier with chickpeas. Okay, let's get things going. So I've got my um, frying pan rocking. I'm gonna get some heat going. And where is my oil? There we go. Um, it looks all nice and clean over here, right? Looks all nice and clean. So we're gonna get that all nice and hot. There we go. But if you guys look over here, it's, uh, you can see where all the heinosity is. You're not heinous, man. You guys are lovely. But the, the, the beauty of the whole thing is Rob over there. Rob, wave. So Rob is the home economist. So he's the one that's doing all the, uh, all the cleaning uh, with your onion. If it's rocking, it's wrong. So um, I'm just going to chunk it up. You know me, my knife skills. Um, second to none, right? Second to none. So I want to get a, a red onion going. I want to soften it up before I add all the veg. Now, uh, you can use, you know, white, you know, yellow onions. I like going red because it's got a bit of sweetness in it. And it's a bit more forgiving. So, so um, how, how long is this going to take you? Yeah. So this dish, you really can get this whole thing done in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. It's not going to take you much time at all, man. Because you've already done most of the cooking. Now we're going to bring all those flavors back together. So there's our onions. So... What'd you say? It's good for, but when, when, when would you eat this? When would I eat this? Okay. When would I eat this? I'd eat this. I, you know, you can't have turkey leftovers, the same thing, you know, more than once. So maybe two days later, you know, brunch, lunch, you know, dinner. Depends on what you want to do, man. Like, say you slept in because you've got food coma. This is the perfect dish. So there goes the onions, right? So we're gonna soften them up. Now while they're softening up, I'm gonna grab all my veg. Now, we had a turkey the other day, so I've got some turkey meat, I got some broccoli, and then I've also got some parsnips and carrots. But you can use whatever you want, man. Just chunk it up and get it in there. So, I'm, I'm hungry. Well, and, I well, if you don't have a turkey, you know, say you got a ham or you got some beef, or maybe you went vegetarian. Dude, just grab all those leftovers, throw an onion in there, chunk it up, and then grab the rest of the stuff and do the same. Like Brussels sprouts would be amazing with this, man. Why didn't I cook Brussels sprouts with my, my roast uh, dinner the other night? I love Brussels sprouts. It's like kind of like a bubble and squeak. Just a lazy man's bubble and squeak, although that's a pretty lazy recipe, but it tastes good, you know? And we're gonna top all this off with a poached egg. So again, the original superfood, an egg. High in protein, man. Okay, so look, there we go. It's all chunked up. There's our veg. We're gonna have a look at our onions. They're going good. Starting to soften up a bit. And like I said, the red onion, you know? If it doesn't go super soft like the white and the yellow, it's fine, man, because the red onions are sweeter than those other guys, man, than its cousins. Okay, so now I'm going to get that heat rocking a bit more because I want to get nice color on here. Now, here's the key, and my grandmother taught me this, okay? So we've got all our veg, and it's going to go in with the onions. Ready? Are you hitting the gas? Did you just hit the gas? Ash, are you, are you, are you turning things on that shouldn't be on. I'm borrowing my friend's house. Don't burn it down, bro. Okay. So all the veggies in there, just chunked up, nice and easy. Now, I'm not going to touch it. My grandma is the king of hash browns and home fries. And when she's cooking, she says, I only touch them twice, man, because I want them to crisp up on the bottom. So I get them in there and I don't mess, mess them around, man. 
I leave them in there. So I want to crisp everything up on the bottom. Once they've had a bit of time, then I'm going to kind of move them around and get all, that whole surface area with that lovely caramelization, that lovely kind of crisp, that golden brown color. So nice hot heat rocking. Now I'm going to get my egg uh, water ready. So let me find where that one is. Okay. You keep getting in the way, Ash. I'm trying to cook here. It's all real time and you keep messing with me, dude. There's a light behind you, so don't mess with that. You almost tripped on the light, bro. Where are you going? We're, we, we gotta, we're doing real time cooking. Where are you going? Man, okay, so here's the key with a poached egg, all right? So I'm gonna get my water rocking. And once I start seeing a little bit of bubbles on there, then I know it's good. So we're getting that water to temp. That's doing its thing. Once it's all crisp, I'm gonna add the chickpea and all our flavors. So, are you th am, I, am I doing the, the egg too early? You think I'm trying to multitask like a woman? I can do it, bro. I've, I've done that. Do you do, like, what are you guys thinking? What you know what? Should, should, I, should I do the egg now or should I wait a little bit? Now. Now? Yeah. <laughs> do, it, do, it, do, it. do it, do it, do it. Okay. Well, let me get these guys going. How am I doing? How are, they, are they starting to get the color on there? Yeah, okay, so now the color's coming. Oh, you see that beautiful kind of golden brown on the chicken? So I'm gonna get all the rest of them going. And then it's the turn of the chickpeas. When you think chickpeas, you think falafels, man. We're doing a chickpea hash. You know, this thing, say you did like a, a big Christmas ham or a big beef, you know, or, or a chicken, you know? All of that would work. And if you're one of our vegetarian friends or vegan friends, that would really work. High in protein, great vegetables, really, really healthy, man. You know, I actually messaged Tim Sheaf, our vegan brother on the Food Tube family. I'm like, bro, I've been eating a lot of vegan food recently. Can we, can we do something together? And he just flew into California to go run across the stakes. He's really into running right now. And he's like, man, bro, I would love that. He did have to stop following me on Instagram though. I am, because I am pro meat. But I have to do a lot of uh, vegetarian food um, in between time, because I don't want gout, because gout sucks. Okay, so our water is going good over here. Once those bubbles start coming up, I'm gonna add the egg. All right, we're getting good color here. Okay, so now I've got some nice color rocking. The onions are getting that beautiful golden brown. So are the veg. And now it's the turn of the chickpeas. So I got about uh, three quarters of a can of chickpeas, all right? So they're gonna go in. Remember, fiber, protein, healthier than potatoes. You ready for me to go in? Okay. All right, so the chickpeas go in. Oh man, now, rogue chickpeas going everywhere. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And I'm gonna go with just a level teaspoon of paprika. You can go sweet or hot, you know, whatever you want, man. Get that flavor in there. And then cumin, you know, classic kind of falafel flavors, paprika and cumin. So get these guys rocking. I love cumin, man. I've, I've, I've become a, a big cumin fan over the last couple of years. I could have spent more time in Europe, man, going with my, my pulled pork. I do like a kind of a cumin coriander kind of rub on that. All right, so that's doing its thing. The water's looking really good. So the key with the poached egg, I'm not touching that for a bit, okay? That's doing its thing. They're all kind of crisping up. They're becoming one. And I'm gonna add, you know, before I do the egg, I'm just gonna get my parsley and coriander going. So let's get these rocking. You're saving like, quite a bit of money here by not wasting food. I'm not wasting food and I'm gonna feed about four people or two very hungry rugby players or probably one very hungry rugby players because those guys just eat nonstop. Have you seen the canteens in a rugby cafeteria? Gnarly, man. Okay, so I got some coriander. I got some parsley. That's gonna be going up there and I'm gonna juice a lemon. That's gonna go in right at the end. Okay, look, the water's going good. You're getting those bubbles rocking, okay? That's what I want to see. Now, 
the key to a poached egg is a fresh egg. You know when you crack an egg down and it just goes everywhere, it just goes bleh, that's not a fresh egg. And that's when, it, when you go for the poached, it just goes everywhere, all right? So, Jamie taught me this. It's gonna go into a little kind of dish. How many eggs have you poached? Um, how many eggs have I poached before? I think like two. Don't tell anybody, all right? All right, so now, I'm gonna get a little whirlpool. So listen, I'm gonna turn this water off, man. It, I've got the heat I need. So I'm gonna turn that water off. I'm gonna get a little whirlpool going. Not crazy. Pretty sure my egg's nice and fresh. So there it is. I got the centrifugal force rocking in the middle. And then I'm gonna slowly drop my egg right down the middle. Okay. And look, it's all hanging out. I'm gonna give it about two and a half, three minutes. Keep an eye on my chickpea hash. Look, look at the colors, man. That's looking so good. Oh my goodness gracious. That is rocking. How good does that look? The thing is, if you, if you were sleeping right now and you know, you get woken up to the smell of baking bread, uh, coffee percolating, uh, bacon. You know, these, are, these are beautiful smells. Again, I am waking up the household. I'm waking up the family. I'm waking up all, all my student friends with this lovely dish. Say mom's been slaving over the stove for two days, you know, getting, getting that holiday turkey roast rocking. Well, I'm going to feed mom and the rest of the family with this killer, you know, turkey leftover hash. Okay, so these guys are good. I'm now, they've got the color. They've done what they need to do. That caramelization thing's rocking. The golden brown's good. So I'm gonna turn that off. And then I'm gonna add the parsley and the coriander. Cause it's still cooking. So they're gonna get in there and add some flavor. So like, this obviously is like a, a following your festive season meal, but like, did you have this when you were younger, like? I, okay, growing up, I love um, home fries, hash browns. It's American, man. We're always cooking with potatoes, but as I've come over to Europe, I've started falling in love with the, the almighty falafel. Um, I've been cooking a lot with chickpeas. So it's just taking, you, you know, you got all those beautiful carbs and vegetables and those proteins and just kind of making it a bit more healthier and breathing new life into it. Okay, so I'm getting the juice loose from the lemon. So let's get this thing. I'm gonna upset your mom. I'm not gonna upset my mom. Come on, mom, you're gonna be good. Okay, so we're gonna go with half the juice of a lemon. That's gonna go in there. How's that for a little ecosystem of flavor? Making it rain lemon. Okay, and then this is gonna go into our bowl. Oh my gosh, how good does that look? It smells phenomenal, zesty, fresh, so, so good. And now I've gotta go grab our good friend, the poached egg. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Come on, dude. Just come off the bottom. Oof. I don't think I gave it enough time, did I? I think it needs a little bit more time. So, <laughs> nothing like a real time recipe. It's okay. I think it's good. Just gonna crank up a little bit of heat. Well, it looks good. It just needs, I just need to make sure I don't get it. You know when you do an egg? What, what does the audience think? Do you think my egg's ready? No, I, don't, I think it needed about another 30 seconds. You know when you do an egg and you do, uh, you get that kind of like gelatin, kind of that mucusy look? You don't eat it, dude. You want, the, you want the whites to go white and then you want that yolk to stay runny because it's actually harder for your body to digest the yolk once it goes hard. It's much easier and it's better protein for your body when the yolk is runny. Fact, I dated a a nutrition major when I was at University of Maryland. Thanks, Randy Stanko.
give a shout out to one of my first girlfriends. She'd be like, what? They, they, they shouted me out on FooTube, really? Yeah, she also told, told me how to, uh, when I get a little eggshell into the thing when I'm making scrambled eggs, how to re-attract that eggshell, use the egg, you know, shell. So you grab, you have the big old half shell and there's a little rogue bit that you can't get. You used to do it with your finger and a spoon and it kept going away from you. Use the shell itself to attract the broken friend of it, of his. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now it's rocking. Now we're happy. I'm gonna grab it and you go on top. Don't want any water in there. Come on, give it to the water. So you go on top. And there we have it. Hey, Rob, can you grab me a fork? There we go, nice. Fork and a knife. So, leftover turkey hash. We're just gonna crack the egg. Oh my gosh. And then that lovely yolk runs down all that beautiful proteins into our uh, leftover hash. So I'm gonna grab some of that egg. Some of that chickpea, all those lovely vegetables. Oh my gosh. How good does that look? Mmm. Mmm. I love it, man. I love hash. I love home fries. And I love eggs, man. Original superfood. Don't forget it, man. Woo! Listen, I'm DJ Barbecue. And um, if you guys want to see more real-time recipes, what do I'm gonna cook real time? Do not make it brisket because I don't think these guys can stand around for 18 hours. <laughs> don't say your mom. Um, hey, Rob, dude, come, come over here, dude. D D Rob's the man in charge of helping me out. That's okay. Uh, <clears throat> how, how did I do? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, are you happy? Mm. I'm always happy. Okay, you got some, you saving that for later? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Rob, hold on. Finish that meal, finish that, that, finish that bite, and then come here. You are the most posh, person I've met. You are so well spoken. You can, can hang you, out with the wrong people then, that's a problem. Can you say hello? Can you say lovely jubbly? Lovely jubbly. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Smashing man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play Smashing a round on? of <laughs> <smash. laughs> Let's go play a round of golf. Let's go play a round of golf. <laughs> yeah. That sounded kind of American when you say golf. You gotta say golf. Hello? Um, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to DJ Barbecue. There's a button over there and FoodTube is over there. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for all the help, everybody. Um, information on this recipe down below. Uh, comment. We want to hear from you guys. You guys rule. I'm, I'm hungry. Mmm. Mmm. That was good.